Hey guys, and welcome to the all new, long awaited, better than ever, Tory Bash running tutorial from Manifire Films. I'm your host, Ross Barker, and before we dive into it, I'll just explain why I'm doing this and why Jack isn't. Okay, Jack isn't doing it because Jack can't. He's just not good enough. He just can't do or grasp the concept of running. So, with that said, I'm doing it now. Anyway, let's get straight to it with a few pointers. Also, thank you to Jack for putting me under pressure to get it out by this week. Anyway, first off, you won't nail this uh, perfect run first time. Probably. It might be an exception, you never really know. You might, you might get lucky and do a perfect run. Might. Anyway, second off, uh, this tutorial only does the first few steps of a run and the starter, so after that you'll just have to improvise for yourself. This is just getting you up to speed and giving you some momentum to get off on if you uh, if you get the drift of it. Anyway, at the end of this uh, uh, t t the move tutorial I'm going to give you some tips on how to do your own custom run. And a quick note, this tutorial will probably have cut some things in it because it's, it's pretty hefty and in-depth and v very, very long. Anyway, so let's get to it. This run is from a ch children, by the way. So. Uh, first of all, I'm going to set some distance between myself and Jeff. I, I'm just changing the mod to xspar.tbm, which is basically uh, all it does is change the difference and it sets the gravity to minus 30, which is gravely important for this run. Okay, so I'm also going to. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I use this to change the directions of me. So I'm going to set my. Engage rotation uh, slash ER to 180. Oh, yeah, uh, so chat off, which is why you can't see any feedback. Anyway, so let's get to it. For, so, for the first frame, you're going to do nothing at all. You're just going to keep it relaxed all and press space once. Then you're going to hold all, contract your abs, and contract both of your hips. Right? Yes. Okay, press space one more time. Then I'm going to extend the right pec, lower the right shoulder, contract the right elbow. Then we will relax the left pec, lower the left shoulder, and contract the left elbow. Next up, we're going to relax the right hip and hold the left hip. If you want to start this in a different direction, just reverse the lefts and the rights. But, you know, what's the point in overcomplicating it? Just start off the same way I am. So, press space two times. Then you will extend both of your hips down here. That looks alright. I'm going to scroll down in the little Word document I have on my second monitor so I can see the rest of the tutorial that I've uh, written down. Well, that Sheldon wrote down that I copied and pasted. Uh, okay, so I'm going to press space twice. And then you're going to contract your right pec, extend the left pec, and relax the right shoulder. Then you're going to con contract the uh, left hip there. Did I say hip here? Hip and pack? Mm, maybe not. Okay. Well, yeah, the packs go like that. Okay, so then you're going to relax your left knee. That looks good. Then we will press space one more time. Then you'll relax your right hip, hold your left knee, and contract your left ankle. Press space one time. Then you're going to lower your right shoulder to tuck it inwards. Then you will contract your right hip. Extend your left hip and relax both of your knees. This is a step right here. Keeping your knees relaxed in a run is, is pretty important. That's how you, you get nice fluid looking steps. This will also be important when you decide to keep continue with the run because this run doesn't go on forever. Okay, so then you will press space one more time to which you will extend your right pec and contract your left. Just going to scroll down a little bit. You'll also Hold your right knee there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So, press space one more time. Then you'll hold the left hip. No, 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 you, no, you won't. You're going to keep that extended. You'll hold your right hip. Sorry, my bad. Then you will press space one time. Then you'll hold your left hip this turn. Relax your right knee. And hold your left knee. Press space one more time. Extend your right hip, contract your left hip, and relax your left knee. Press space again. Scroll down again. Okay. Contract your right pec. 
extend your left pec and relax your right shoulder. Okay, press space one more time. Hold the right hip, hold the left knee, press space once again, lower the right shoulder, hold the left hip, hold the right knee, and relax the left knee. Press space one more time, and then you should probably know where it should go from here, right? You're going to extend this left hip, contract this right hip, and hold that knee. Yeah, this is pretty much where it ends. It's got to go on from here. So I'll uh, see what I can do. See how long I can keep this run going. Although, because this is chilled on tutorial, my running style might be a little bit different to his. I'm going to use my glutes a little bit more, and it's just going to be a little bit different. <laughs> Okay, so by this point I've uh, tilted a bit much and I've decided that I can't really continue my run. So I'm going to end it with a peculiar flip type thing. Alright, this looks good. Now I'm just going to hold all so that I don't fall over too much. You know, keep, keep a couple things relaxed just so that it looks nice and smooth. You know, keep, keep that... Oh god. Bounce a bit there if I keep that knee relaxed. I don't want to keep that hand grabbed. Yep, this looks good. And I didn't fall over. Alright, let's take a look at the run. So, you know, it's pretty smooth. It's nothing too extra extravagant. It's not like you're going to be able to just whoosh past any parkour course, but it does the job. And uh, obviously a custom one. It'll be more suited to your style. It won't be this exact thing. I think this might be Children's personal run, actually, because uh, he used it in a mod that I made. But, yeah. I think it would be best if you guys were to create your own run, so that way it's more suited to your style, you know, less generic. And I will get to that in the follow-up episode, which is going to be more advanced, more technical, more customizable. It's going to be generally a lot more you. Anyway, if you guys want to see more of me... Just type it in the comments, you know, Ross Barker for Man of Fire Films, lol by. Then uh, that'd be great. And if you guys have any move suggestions, just send them to submissions at Man of Fire Films. It's written up on the screen with the uh, subject as Tory Bash Tips. Anyway, hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.